Let's conclude this segment by talking about one of the nice surprises this season, and it's been a long time coming, and you hope it sustains because it's a lot of fun, and it's a good-looking young team. What happened to the Buffalo Sabres? Why are they so good? First of all, I like to see this because both of us probably saw our share of games in the odd. Oh, tons. And the odd was a great place to watch hockey. And Straight up and down, you're overlooking the ra- – oh, it's a great place. I, I want to tell you that – um, the fir- one of the first times I ever went to the odd, yeah. I we rented a car, and we went and we parked there. We I went as a, a university student in my first year. We're like we're going down to the odd for a game tonight, so we, we drove down that from too, London. The university from Guelph down there, and <laughs> so we, we were there, the same people. There was a great parking spot in the parking lot, and I was young and I was n- stupid, and it was underneath a bridge. So I parked under. I parked there. It was so close, and nobody else parked there. And I was like, That's great. What, "What's wrong with these people? Why aren't they parking here?" And people were just sort of looking at me, and I was like, "Okay, something's weird here, but I don't know what this is." I think it was eighteen, nineteen, something like that. And we get back to we have, we enjoy the game. We have a great time. Get back to the car after the game, and it's covered in bird poop. Uh, I guess the bridge was a nesting area. Right. So that's my favorite story about going to the yacht. But Buffalo's a great market. Yeah. Uh, The fans, they love hockey. They've been in limbo for too long. They deserve this. So I spoke to Jason Pominville yesterday, and and he talked about a lot of the things about the change of attitude. Eichel's better. The goaltending is definitely better. Hutton and Allmark, those guys have given them good goaltending. But it was funny. He was just about to hang up the phone because he was watching his kids practice, and I didn't want to take it. Is Pominville or Botterill? Pominville. Okay. Pominville's the guy I spoke to. So Pominville was watching his kids practice. I didn't want to keep him for too long. So as he's, he's about to hang up the phone, he goes, oh, wait, hold on one second. And I go, okay, what's that? He goes, I forgot to mention, this has to be mentioned, Bogosian and McCabe. Yeah. Nobody remembers those guys, but think of what we were like without them in the lineup. Just having them there, yeah. we are so much better. Did you see, speaking of McCabe, the pass that Rasmus Stalin made to McCabe on the weekend? Like Rasmus Stalin, all of a sudden, he cuts no, down we low, were come, on comes the air. up. Yeah, it was a Saturday, it was a, the we Saturday, were, and they played Saturday at Minnesota. six Eastern, so we were on the air. It was, uh, it was, it was a thing of beauty. And I know we are all, you know, cuckoo for cocoa puffs for uh, uh, for Elias Patterson mm-hmm. and the Calder, and he's been fantastic. Twelve goals so far. The last one was an absolute howitzer. Rasmus Stalin now. Starting to look really comfy with this league. Pominville said that yesterday, which would have been Tuesday, they were showing highlight. They were showing some highlights of his to the team, and there was the one he ripped off the crossbar and the moves he made to get there That's against it. Pittsburgh. Yeah. He said they were all laughing at how ridiculous they were. Yeah, he's coming. It's going to be tough to beat Pedersen this year, though. Uh, it is going to be tough, but uh, what a race this could be. 